Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the 15 Louis Vuitton items that are under a thousand dollars and I want to caveat this by saying these are the items that are currently in my collection. There are a couple items like the Emile wallet, the Clements, the cosmetic pouch, the Sarah, you know, items like that that I don't currently own in my collection. They are under a thousand dollars but I can't vouch for them since I don't own them. So these are the items that are currently in my collection that are under a thousand dollars that I I would recommend to you guys. So because I have 15 items, I'm going to go through them rather quickly, but I am going to go into a little bit of detail about each one so you can see why I love them. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. If you want to hear the 15 items from Louis Vuitton in my collection that are all under a thousand dollars that I recommend, then keep watching. Okay, these are in no particular order, but I have a lot of really good items to share. We all know that Louis Vuitton can be super expensive, but a lot of times people who are shopping for Louis Vuitton, we're all on a budget. We don't want to spend an arm and a leg. We might have a certain budget for a thousand or a certain budget for 500 or 1500. So if you're interested in Louis Vuitton items under 500, I, I did a video on that. And then I also did a video on Louis Vuitton items under 1500 that are a little higher but in this video today we're gonna focus on items that are under a thousand dollars and I have a lot of good ones to share so let's get right into it the first item that I want to share today is this little guy right here this is the Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse I have had this wallet for such a long time I bought this in Vegas this is a really really great compact wallet I've also mentioned it in my um, compact wallet video you can see this one is in the beautiful multicolor, but it also comes in the monogram Damier Aben. This retails for $480. And the reason I like this is it's a small compact wallet, but it's going to fit in a lot of handbags. So the way that I typically use it is I will put fold up a little bit of cash and then I'll put some cards here. I'm actually currently using it right now. I have a little bit of cards in there, but the reason I love this so much is it's just very cute and compact and it's very, very durable and it's just a really really good item to have in your collection if you're looking for a smaller compact wallet so I definitely wanted to include it in the in the on the list unfortunately the multicolor collection has is discontinued which I'm very sad about but this comes in Damier Ben Damier Azur it comes in monogram it's a really really good piece so I would recommend looking into it if you're on the hunt for a small compact wallet all right, the next item that I want to mention in my collection that is under a thousand, it's actually under five hundred, and yes, it's around the two hundred dollar mark. It is two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and this is the Louis Vuitton card holder daily. This is for that person that doesn't carry a ton of cash, doesn't carry a lot of cards. You just want to be a minimalist and you want to have a card holder. This is a really good one because it's really, really flexible. So it has a spot for a card holder here, a spot for a card holder here, and then I usually put cash there but you can see it's really really bendy a lot of times card holders can be a little stiff this one not at all it's a great great one if you guys are looking for a good card holder definitely check this out this is the card holder daily in the damier azure with the rose ballerine but they also have it in the damier aben they also have it in the monogram as well so definitely check this out if you're looking for an affordable card holder Okay, the next item I want to mention is another compact wallet and this retails for $535 and this has a special feature which I love. I'm talking about the Zoe wallet. Again, this is the Damier Aben with the rose ballerine. So pretty. When I first was going to buy this, I couldn't decide if I wanted this or the beautiful red, but I'm telling you, nothing compares to the combination of the rose ballerine and the Damier Aben. But the reason this is such a neat little wallet is it has a back pocket and I always share with you I love my back pockets this is where I keep my ID or a major credit card it's really nice and easy access but this is such a tiny wallet but it is fully functional because you have a place for two cards here two cards here there is a little zip compartment if you want to put your change and the best thing about it is it has a billfold as well so this is 
the big daddy of compact wallets, I would say, because it's super functional in the sense where it carries your cash, your cards, your change, and there's a little pocket on the back, so I absolutely love it. Um, again, this retails for $5.35. They also have this in the Empron leather. I do not own that. However, I have heard the Empron is much better because it's a little more flexible. I can't vouch for that myself, but a lot of people have stated that, so definitely check it out in both the canvas as well as the Empron. The next wallet that I want to mention is the Victorine wallet. I used to have two. I have to say, I actually recently sold my Victorine in the monogram and the rose ballerine to a lovely subscriber. The reason I did that is because I owned it in the Escal and I, I wasn't really reaching for that one as much as I do this one. This one I just absolutely love. It's so beautiful. So if you were to get the monogram, you would pay 570 but if you get one that's kind of more of like a limited edition like the Escal, it's a little more expensive. This one is 725 so this one is a little bit larger than the Zoe wallet you can see, but it is still a really, really great compact wallet. This one does not have a pocket, but oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? I just love the Escal. It has the silver hardware, and this one, it has three card slots here, three card slots here, a billfold and then there is another spot for your change so this is a fully functional wallet yet it's really cute and compact so if you're someone that doesn't like to carry the big large wallets definitely look into either the Victorine the Zoe or the Zippy coin I don't think you'll be sorry hey okay, now let's talk about a super super functional item and I love this item so much that I bought it three times. Now, do you need three of these? No, you don't. But the item I am talking about is the mini pochette. This retails for $4.45 if you just get like the basic one, like if you have the monogram, uh, I have the Damier Ben, and then I also have this one, which you guys know, this was my holy grail. I actually picked this up on Fashion File because I this is like the one that got away. I wasn't able to get it in time on the website, but I love these little pieces because they have so many different uses. This is one of those items I would highly, highly recommend and definitely rank it towards the top of the list. Again, this list is in no particular order, but if I were to rank them, this one right here would definitely be towards the top of the list because you you can use this for so many different things. You can use it as a keep all in your purse. You can use it as a little wristlet. You can um, attach a long chain to it and you can wear it as like a little crossbody bag. It's just such a great piece. So you open it up. This one has the beautiful red interior of the Damia Aben. This one right here has the beautiful like brown interior. And then wait till you see this Escal. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. It has the beautiful periwinkle. So I love these little pouches. They're perfect in my purse. I usually use them to keep makeup in, lotion, um, a little mirror, stuff like that. They're very super, super functional, which is why I had to include it on the list. Hey, moving right along, I had to include one of my favorite wallets. Like out of all of my wallets, this is one of my favorites. No surprise here, the Rosalie. I don't know what it is about this piece, but I just love it so much. It's a small compact wallet. It retails for $400. It comes in the Louis Vuitton monogram, Damier Eben, and the Damier Azur, which is so pretty, the Damier Azur with the Rose Ballerine. I have thought about that one. But this is $400, and I feel like it's on the more affordable side for the compact wallets, because you have the Zippy that's $480. You have the Zoe, which is $535, and the Victorine, which is like $570, or even more if you go for more of the specialized patterns, but this is just so cute. It doesn't have a back pocket, but I would recommend this if you're someone that carries a lot of cards, but here's why I love it. So what I do is I would just take a little bit of folded up cash, put it in this back pocket. I keep all of my cards here so they're easily, so I can easily access them. And then there is a little spot for change as well. So once again, I look at this as a fully functional wallet. It doesn't have a bill fold. However, it's very, I just keep my bills folded up like that. And if you're someone that does carry a lot of cards, this is very useful. I love this. Plus it is so compact and cute and highly recommend this piece. 
Moving right along, I have to mention the Louis Vuitton key pouch. Now, this little bad boy right here retails for $270. I love this again so much. I have it in the beautiful monogram, and then I also have it in the Damier Graphite. I really, the Damier Graphite is from the men's collection, and this one has the silver hardware, and then the monogram has the gold hardware here. These are so super functional. You re might remember that I actually gave uh, this away in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed because I definitely try to do a lot of giveaways on my channel. But I talk about this all the time. Not only is it little, but it's just so useful. I usually will attach my keys to the D-ring. If you don't want to have them hanging, you can put them inside. And then what I do is I usually will fold up a little bit of cash. I'll have an ID, a credit card, and then I will just take this with me to the gym or take this with me to the store. So then that way I don't have to carry a whole purse. These are so useful. Plus they are very affordable for Louis Vuitton. So I'd highly, highly recommend recommend these. Okay, another key holder that I have to recommend in today's video is the Louis Vuitton Multi Clay or Six Ring Key Holder. I have this one, of course, in the Damier Event with the Rose Ballerine, but here's why this is so nice. So you open this little guy up and you can see it has six little rings here where you can attach your keys and it does fit a fob, which is really, really nice and you can close it that way. So usually I will attach my fob, my house key, my gym membership as well. And then when I'm carrying it behind here, I will include an ID and a major credit card. And I just love this. This is just such a functional piece. I just really, really love it. The only downfall with it that I've mentioned is sometimes like this little button, the little leather on it will start to come off a little bit. That's like my only complaint. And I've mentioned before, not a huge deal breaker, but I do wish this was kind of closed off. As you can see, it goes all the way through. Sometimes I'm a little worried about my stuff coming out of it but it hasn't happened yet it's just something I get a little worried about but other than that this is another good option for a key pouch and this retails for $265 the only problem with this these are really hard to find but if you can get your hands on it I would definitely recommend it okay now let's talk about one of my holy grail key pouches um, I love this so much I've actually done a video between this and the recto verso so make sure to check that out but it is the Imprint key pouch now this key pouch is a little bit larger than uh, the regular key pouch you can see. So if it's a little bit larger, that enables you to fit more in it. So this one is the Empreinte leather, so it's really flexible. It comes in the black and then also the navy. And back in the day, I think it came in the pink. I haven't seen that, seen that recently. Um, but here's why I love it. So the front of it has an opening like this. Uh, and then it has a D-ring here. So you can put cards in here and I like that it is secure. And then the back has a zip compartment. This is amazing because I will keep some change in here or I will put my folded bills and it's secure with a change purse. And then it also has a D-ring which you can attach your keys to. So this is another one of those items that when I use this, I take this to the gym and I love it. And I like it because you can fit a lot more and because of the leather it is really flexible and the only downfall of this is the button has tarnished a little bit but other than that I think the leather looks great and I have used and abused this piece this one's a little more pricey it comes in at $475 but again if you can get your hands on it I just love it one of my favorites I think it only makes sense to mention the Recto Verso next because you guys know that I did a comparison on my channel between these two. So if you want to see which one I like better, or if you guys want to see a more in-depth comparison, check that video out. I really, really go into details and break it up into a lot of different categories. So this is a really cute piece. The downfall of this one is it does retail for $590, which I could not believe it was so expensive when it first came on the market, but I just loved the concept. It seemed very organized, and if you're an organized person, I think you'll really like this. So let's break it down. It comes with a little D-ring in which you can put your keys attached. It has this little opening in which you can put a major credit card. Keep in mind, it's a little stiff, so you can't really fit a ton of cards in it. That is one of my complaints. Um, there is a little 
little spot right here, which is a little hidden compartment, which when I unboxed this, I didn't even realize. Actually, I think I mentioned the lovely Jerusha Couture. She pointed it out, and then some of my subscribers mentioned it as well. So that's kind of neat. It also has a zip compartment, which this is where you can put some cash and know that it is secure. And then on the back, it has three credit card slots and then another slot here. So this is another one of those pieces I really like, very organized. It doesn't fit as much as I would think, like I have a really hard time if you wanna like double up cards, but other than that, really, really nice, like I said, especially if you like to stay organized. And this retails for $590. It also came out in the Damier Ben with the Rose Ballerine. And I was tempted, I'm telling you, I was tempted, but I don't need any more small leather goods, so I'm trying to be good. But this is a great, great piece. Okay, let's talk about an item that I had been wanting to add to my collection forever, but they discontinued it and they weren't making it anymore until Christmas time. And I'm talking about the round coin purse. This one right here is the round coin purse in the Christmas animation. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, if you're not, I'll give you a minute. Go ahead and do that. I share a lot of reels and I actually do a lot of stories kind of doing Q and A's and I take you through my day and all kinds of stuff. So make sure to follow me if you're not. But I actually took you through all of my change purses and I like emptied all my change and I collected like over a hundred dollars that I put towards this. So this retails for $375, but this one right here is the Christmas animation, and then the back is the monogram. You can see it's really, really thin, so if you're not a change person, you can use this for your AirPods, your, you know, headphones, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, but I, of course, use it for change. You can see I have it in there. It has the beautiful red interior. This is a great, great piece. Um, I believe every year they do, like, kind of come out with one. I've seen, like, past Christmas uh, animations as well, but this one is cute. It has them on like a little uh, sled. Very, very cute, but I love, love, love this piece, and I'm so happy I was able to get it. Okay, now let me talk about an item that I'm including on the list because it's a really neat concept. It's a little pricey, but it's a really cool concept, and I'm talking about the gusseted card holder. This retails for $6.25, which once again, it was another item where I was kind of scratching my head like, why is, why? But it was just so cute, and I didn't have anything like it in my collection. This is the gusseted card holder in monogram, but let me show you why it's so cool. So it opens like this, and then it has an accordion style like this, which has five slots. You can fit quite a few cards in here. And this is nice because, you know when you have your wallet and you're reaching in for your cards, you have to like go through them. Because of the accordion style, it spreads your cards out so you can organize them. So usually what I do, I know this sounds a little silly and maybe like overkill, but I will kind of put these in alphabetical order so that I know where each of my cards are and it's just easy to get them. And then you can even put a little bit of cash here. And then there's even like a little tiny compartment here which I don't really use but typically I'll put a little bit of cash and then put the cards other places again a little pricey for this one but I wanted to include it on the list because it is under a thousand it retails for 625 and it's a really really cool concept if you're not into Louis Vuitton they do have one similar uh, by Dior so make sure to check those out and I think those are a little more affordable Okay, another item that I want to mention that is under the $1,000 mark, well, not this one specifically, but in monogram it is, and I'm talking about the Kuragami set. So the Escal collection was, this one right here, was just over 1000 it was 1020 so I wanted to mention this because the monogram one retails for $7.45, and the monogram is just like this except in the monogram, but it's a really, really cool concept because you have the outside piece you open it to another middle piece, and then you open it again for this cute little guy. Now, I do have to say, out of all three of these pieces, I probably use this one the most. This is what I keep my cards in. Like, you know, you can use it for gift cards, you can use it as like a tiny wallet, very, very functional. And then I have this little guy right here where I'll just like put some makeup in, you know, I'll put some lipstick, um, you can put a mirror. And then this one right here, you can use as like a little clutch. So if you guys want a further breakdown, um, I will include the dedicated video that I did on this where you can kind of see, I go through like what fits in each piece and kind of break it down a little more. But again, this one, in the monogram retails for $745 and if you've been on the hunt for this 
make sure that you periodically check the website because I saw the monogram on there recently and it's been popping up. So I definitely want to mention this. I think it's functional because you can use one as a makeup bag, one as a card holder, and one as a little clutch. Okay, I have two more items to share. The next item I want to talk about is something that you guys actually asked me about quite a bit and I still need to do a dedicated video on it, but it is the Louis Vuitton Agenda. This is the Agenda in the PM size. It retails for around $365. There are two other sizes, but I don't own those other sizes, unfortunately. But I can tell you I really, really love this guy right here. So it's a little Agenda. doesn't have anything on the back. You open it. There is a spot for credit cards. You can put cash back here, and then you have the little Filofax refill. So I mentioned this um, a ton of times before. Do not, if I can offer you a tip, don't buy the refills from the Louis Vuitton website. You're gonna just waste money. You can buy the refills on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks. That's what I did. I got the little Filofax refill, and it works perfectly fine. So I love this. This is good if you're a planner and you wanna stay organized and keep a planner in your purse. It's really tiny, and it fits really nicely. So I wanted to include this on the list because it comes in around 365, which I think is a great deal for this piece. Okay, and I lied, I have two more pieces. So actually we have 16 instead of 15. My math was off, you guys, but it's good, we get a bonus. The next pieces that I wanna share, and this is multiple pieces, they are the toiletry pouches, and I'm sure you heard Louis Vuitton is discontinuing. I'm not sure why Louis Vuitton is doing this. And again, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if they're discontinuing all three or just the 26 size. Now, I don't own the 26, I have the 15, and I have the 19. Um, these are really, really functional pieces. If you guys want more of a breakdown, I did a comparison between this, the, uh, the 15, as well as the Louis Vuitton um, mini pochette. So check that out if you want more detail. These are great items, and I'm concluding them together as like one category because these are really, really good. You can use these as key balls in your purse. You can turn them into clutches. You can turn them into bags. There are so many different things you can do with them. Uh, I usually will just use them as like key balls in my purse. You can see right there I have a Zumoni organizer, but they fit a lot. Um, but like I said, I have done, I did a video breaking this one down, comparing it to the mini pochette, and then I did a dedicated video on this toiletry 15 as well, but I had to mention them. Again, someone correct me, let me know, are they discontinuing all three or is it just the 26? I don't own the 26, but I know a lot of people love that bag and they use it as a clutch and it, it's very, very handy. But I wanted to mention both of these because I do own both of them and I absolutely love them. They are perfect key balls. I think between the two, I gravitate towards um, the 15 more just because it's so tiny, it fits a lot, and it also fits in a lot of bags. But these are great, great cosmetic pouches and really good for travel and the final piece that I want to mention is a more recent purchase and I actually love it more than I thought I would so I really really wanted to mention it in today's video and I am talking about the Elizabeth pencil pouch now I did a recent unboxing on this so I went into like what this fits in like which purses and then what fits inside but let me tell you why I had to mention it in today's video not only is it way under the thousand dollar threshold but I've been using this as a keep all in my purse and I love it so as you know the Elizabeth pencil pouch the main purpose is for pens pencils you know that type of thing but you guys don't have to use it for pens and pencils as I stated I use this in my purse now and I mean I probably bore you if I showed you what's in it because I probably showed you this like four or five times before but this piece is great it fits so much stuff I have perfume in here lotion tampons you guys know, if you've been watching for a long time, we've talked about the tampons before. I have lip balm, like so many things. I just find this so useful. I really, really do. And I showed in that video that this fits in a lot of popular purses. It fits in the Pochette Matisse, it fits in the Palm Springs Mini, it fits in the Alma BB, and it's very unique. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. And I wanted to mention it because just because something is marketed for one thing, like this is marketed as a pencil pouch, you don't have to use it that way. You can use it for so many other things. And I really, really have been loving it as a keep all. So that's why I had to include it in the list. 
So there you have it, you guys. Those are 16 items that are under $1,000. As I stated, there are a couple items I don't own, like the Emile wallet, the Clements wallet, the cosmetic pouch, um, the Sarah wallet, you know, a couple things that I don't own. But all of these items are really, really great. If you're on a budget and you're looking for something under $1,000 and you don't want to spend a lot, I don't think you can go wrong with any one of these. But if I have to, had to recommend, I would definitely say one of the key pouches definitely the mini uh, the mini pochette if you can get your hand on it and then the rosalie is amazing absolutely love that that's one of my favorites and it's more affordable for louis vuitton so like usual i will be sure to find all of these items if um on the pre-love market and i will link them down below because i know some of them are a little hard to find like the escal collection so i will link them down below if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and i'd love to have you follow me on instagram as well as i stated i do a lot of reels and what's in my bags and all kinds of things and I share a lot more of my personal life over there as well and if you guys are curious about any of these individually make sure to check out some of my other videos because I do go into a little more detail and break it down for you so thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video